Hello guys, Wells here, back in for another video, and today we'll be going over five reasons why 2020 sucked. And um, hope you guys all enjoy and enjoy this video because, as you guys remember, I made the last two years I made a video about why 2019 and 18 sucked. So if you haven't checked out this video already, um, go to my oldest, sort by oldest, or uh, scroll down on my YouTube page and you you'll find them. But yeah, anyways, um, so one more thing to ask you guys. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe because I put out content mostly like every two weeks, I think, or something. And yeah, so, or every month. So yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed this video and let's get into it. Okay, guys, so the first reason why 20, uh, 20 sucked is because of, um, I was going to include YouTube Rewind, but uh, they stupid announced that's not gonna happen this year, so that's a pretty big waste. But I might also I'm sorry if my audio sounds weird because my microphone broke during the video, but or no during this video because I'm I'm already recording this like a week or two weeks after. But anyways, so the reason why 2020 sucked is because um of YouTube clickbait. Now I include this every video. I know it gets boring, but YouTube clickbait is so bad every year. And it keeps getting worse every year. And also, um, the clickbait and basically everything on YouTube. Uh, and also, I, I was going to include Rewind, but it would have probably gotten a lot of dislikes. It would have been on the list, but it's not going to be on the list because YouTube sucked. Or it, they still canceled it. But anyways, so clickbait, you already know the deal. It Clickbait sucks. It's so bad. The people who do it are bad. And they, they just want anything to do with views and they want to get instantly big. I just can't stand that. I feel like people need to earn their popularity and just kind of grind, you know. And these people just don't grind. They just say, screw it. We're just going to click pay our video. And yeah, so that's basically the first reason why 2020 sucked. Now, on to the second reason why 2020 sucked. And the second reason why it sucked is because of um the oh oh wait oh yeah i just remembered i can't say it because i'll get demonetized or something for saying it but we all know we're just gonna call it the virus from wuhan china we we know that what that virus is um that affected the u.s and shut down the whole world yeah that one so yeah this that would this is like a must-have to have on the list um this virus um that basically is still going on to this day and it literally ruined the whole year. I thought 2020 was gonna be a pretty good year, but this that 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 virus when it happened, it, it literally changed everything. Like this is literally a must have to have on any list of why 2020 sucks because this really ruined 2020. Like it really ruined it, and it's literally a must have on the list. Like it is because this is probably one of the worst things that could have happened. This because of course, right after we have the pandemic from like a hundred years ago, we have another one this um, like this year, and that's not as bad as the last one because the last one killed like hundred like hundred million people or something. But yeah, um, so yeah, that's basically the why this this has to be on the list. So yeah, um, that's basically the second reason why twenty twenty sucked is because of the virus. I can't say it though. I can't say the full name, but yeah. The virus is the second reason why 2020 sucked. Okay, the third reason why 2020 sucked is because of all the deaths this year. Now, I'm not going to include them all. They, they were in the thumbnail because that would just be disrespectful. I'm not including any of these guys in the thumbnail or like during the video, like photos of them because it's just kind of disrespectful. Just to respect them, I think it's just best for me not to include them in the thumbnail because I'd kind of be clickbaiting the whole video. And yeah, I just don't think that's right. But yeah, so the, fir the first person that really died is David Stern, the commissioner of the NBA. This is all the NBA. You know who he is. Um, he was basically, he saved the NBA from like the 70s where like drugs were a huge thing back then. Like, and like a lot of players were being affected by it. And he basically saved the NBA. He, does, he, doesn't re he didn't really get that much credit when it's deserved because he really kind of saved the NBA. Most people kind of just give... It's like the players like Michael Jordan 
but he was like one of the big reasons also why he saved the NBA. And second person, uh, the second big name that died is Kobe Bryant. And also we have to mention her daughter, or his daughter, Gianna Bryant, because, or Gigi. Um, um, Kobe's death really shook the whole world. I remember going on Twitter that day and I just saw it and I was like, bro, this can't be real because nobody could believe it was real. It was just crazy how it happened because nobody thought it was real. And I didn't even think it was real because it, it really didn't look like it was real. But yeah, that was probably one of the darkest days in like sports history because when, when it happened, it shook the whole world. And also, or, and people were like, and we were, when we heard the news of um, his daughter, Gianna Bryant, dying, that also shook a lot of people because he couldn't continue the legacy because Gianna Bryant was probably going to be the best WNBA player, women's basketball player of all time. But she died just too young, too. And she was probably going to be really good for like the WNBA and stuff. And it's really sad to see them both go. They were probably, they were like, Kobe was super inspirational for like every basketball player. And it was just so sad. It shook the whole world when they, he, they, um, Kobe died and his, or his daughter, Gigi. And yeah. And also, we also have to go to third big name. Um, um, Chadwick Boseman, um, the guy who played Black Panther and also played, um, 42, he played, um, 42, um, in the movie 42 also, um, as Jackie Robinson, so, yeah, and he was just really well liked, he also passed away, and it was just so sad also when he died, it was just crazy, and also, recently, there was also a rapper that died too, I forgot his name, but, yeah, anyways, it was a very sad year in terms of deaths. And once again, I'm not including them in the thumbnail or putting photos of them in the video because that I just want to respect them. I don't want to just disrespect those people because I feel like that's kind of disrespectful to just include them in the video. So, yeah, so that's basically the third reason why, third reason why 2020 sucked is because of all the deaths that happened this year. Now, the fourth reason why 2020 sucked is because of TikTok. Now, as I last said, the th last previous three years, this might be controversial, but I can't even express how much dislike I have for this video. Until it gets banned, I'm going to keep including it in the video every single year. Now, I know it's getting boring and bland. I keep including this like every year, but it it's a terrible app for so many reasons. Now... I hope I was so happy when it was like released when it got when it was announced it might get banned. I was so happy, but stupid TikTok won in court and they they stupid didn't get banned. It makes me so angry. I wish it did get banned. But yeah, um, first of all, the reason why I can't stand this app is people literally make cringy dances and like so for example like girls in the video who will make like have like show off themselves for views. And that's one of the reasons why I can't stand it. And I don't care if people might get offended with what I'm saying. What I'm saying is true. Everybody can agree. People do that for views. Like, that's what people do. Like, on TikTok. They'll do anything. And people will literally rip off your YouTube videos and not give you any sort of credit and rip off your content and instantly profit off it. That's why I can't stand the app and I never use it because it's a horrible app. And it's not safe to use at all either. But too, because yeah, there's also like leaks that they could be like TikTok could be like taking your information and stuff. But we don't know if that's true or not. But yeah, and I was so happy when it was announced it might get banned, but apparently it didn't get banned, and it just makes me so mad. But they're probably gonna be taken to court over um, the whole children doing the dance and stuff. They're probably gonna be taken to court for that. So that's a big plus. Because I think they'll eventually be taken to court over this whole girl was going on. Because that's technically, like, that's technically childlike. I'm not going to say it, but you know what I'm talking about. If they, they could be taken to court for that, like, like they, they can literally be taken to court. Because these kids aren't underage and they're doing this stuff. And they're not even, like, 13. Some people on the app aren't even 13 and doing some of these dances. And they're, like, underage. So, yeah. 
that's one of the reasons why 2020 sucks is because of TikTok. Now, it might be controversial to most people, but I've had such a big, I can't stand the app for such a long time, ever since it was released. But yeah, so that was the fourth reason why 2020 sucked. Now, the final reason why 2020 sucked is mostly just because all the sports leagues shut down. Like, come on. This might be, if you're not a fan of sports, you might not care, but for anyone who likes sports, all the leagues shutting down was just so bad. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, Rudy Gobert is shutting down the NBA uh, and all this stuff. Now, I was going to include something, but, you know, I... I was going to include reasons why 2020 sucked, but there was really no reasons for me, really, specifically. So I didn't really feel like, you know, putting something on the list. And um, people were saying last year's age poorly, but it didn't really age poorly because I make this video every year. So why would it age poorly if I make a video like this every year? There's always going to be a bad year. There's always going to be bumps in the road. But yeah, all the sports leagues shutting down was also one of the reasons. And also me, um, also there is a reason why 2020 sucked for me, actually, when I'm thinking about it. Um, me not getting the mile and uh, pacer record in school, because I had an 104 pacer, and I got completely screwed over, because I was literally 7 off the school record for, like, 7th grade. It got completely screwed over. Um, but, yeah, that's also one reason, also the mile record. But I did tie, technically, in my homework team, but people might not believe that. But I never the half mile, but I don't know if they're going to really register that. So when I'm thinking about it, those are probably the reasons why 2020 sucked for me. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And I'm also sorry for not putting Juice World in last year's video um, for reasons why 2020 sucked. He actually died after I recorded the video, so I couldn't put him on the list because he already died before I made the video. So yeah, guys, so hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more content like this, you know, I make this video every year, so tune in every year, you know, for me to make these, and I'm, you know, I've aged a lot since my first video, so, and my editing's got better, so, hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and 